next letter, right? So that's where we where we put that X, we were finding the gap. When we found that the, the X goes there, we found the gap in the relative clause. Notice the relative clause gets very strange uh, tactic constraint of English. That whenever hey everybody, I'm a student at SDSU clause, and I'm currently in class at it, home. <laughs> the ones that are letters that John wrote to Maxine and for those, if X is one of those, then it has to be the case that Maxine sent X to R. So the arrow is exactly the right translation for every. Right? It's not the, the only part of the translation, but it's an important component. It's an indispensable component. Every time we see every, we're going to end up using the arrow while we're using the logic. The logic. Okay? All right. So, um, okay, let me get out of that. Um, all right, so we are, um, okay, mammal as this. We get a formula that says for all X, it makes the claim that every entity in the universe is both a dog and a mammal. That's wrong. And we decided if we changed to the arrow in that example, 